of a topical is my spread bud. I figured I could talk about Corona. <laughs> My thoughts, which I thought from the beginning, but it was unsupported theory, so I was a bit frightened to say anything for some time. I don't stay frightened for long. When it comes to saying things, obviously, I get a lot of trouble that way. But, uh, my feelings about it is that, um, I've known about the electromagnetic pulse radiation, radio waves having a bad effect a video on it on my Hidden Mountain video page on YouTube. I've got a couple videos by a leading scientist in um, Washington State. He's done some great, he's actually a physician and scientist. And he has dialogued a great deal and done a great amount of research on the effects of smart meter um, electric high high radiation electric effects on people especially those uh, like children and older people people sensitive to anything to anything <laughs> I think we're all affected by it but of course um, people with a less strong immune system are more affected anyway um so they've done all this research and they've upgraded our electric meters. Many of them have put actual lock boxes on them and made them what they call smart meters. And these meters are especially strong and have an especially bad effect on people. dog is going to bark at the neighbor, so I'm, I'm not going to go much farther this way. Anyways, uh, so there, um, I haven't been able to get, uh, cell service where I live off grid in my tiny my tiny house I've built and I'm continuing to build um, in Appalachia in the hills because as you can see they're more like they're like small mountains with a whole lot of folds. They say the Indians couldn't even live here because you could get lost so easily hard to tell where you're at certain times of day with the sun and such get lost easily because it's very dendritic it's, it's like a piece of paper has been folded up 
this geography here. In fact, if you live here long enough, any other place seems boring. Even if it's giant mountains, it's just too straightforward. <laughs> Once you've been a hillbilly, it's beautiful to see your trees here. There's Jody. Anyways, back to 5G. So now they're unrolling. I've never been able to get cell service. But lately they've been um, advertising a great deal about cell service anywhere, or even hard to reach places like where I live. And I was getting a little bit happy about that because I don't even have internet at home. But, uh, and I'm off grid, solar and everything. No electric power lines at all. And then they said 5G technology. I don't know if it stopped recording or what. But I'm recording again, apparently. Um, yes, so 5G, they're rolling up 5G in all these places. Oh, there's a dogwood tree. And it's going nationwide really fast. They've got these towers. They're very different looking than cell towers, Chateau and everything. And I think they could actually use existing towers. They have a different look to them. If you know what they, if you look it up on Google, you can figure it out pretty, some butterflies. You can figure it out pretty easy. Um, anyways, these towers that they're putting up are the 5G towers. Well, many are now saying, not just me, that the coronavirus is basically your basic flu. I mean, the, the, the regular flu is new every year. That's why you need a new flu shot every year. It's a different take on the same symptoms, and they call it the flu. But there's a new one out every year. Well, this one is called Corona. And I'm not saying it's not super strong or that there may be some new um, extra effects that uh, particularly um, are particularly strong and particularly affect um, our, uh, immune systems that are already fairly weak. Um, but anyways, the uh, flu kills zillions of people, <laughs> zillions every year. <laughs> regularly and we've had we've seen no statistics this year on the flu and in fact no talk on it at all so basically unless tested i don't know if the test for the flu or corona would come up different or the same is there a flu test has there ever been a flu test um why would you need to test it? If you're ill, you're ill. They call it flu. You got the symptoms, they say it's flu. No test needed. So anyways, uh, this flu that we call corona, which was the, actually has been, the, was named years ago when Bill Gates got the patent on the name um and they did a 
uh, the U.S. military, uh, and not military, but people in charge of the military, did a kind of a uh, play through and talk through meeting in this this past fall in 2019 where they talked about it and called it corona months before corona actually came about supposedly anywhere even in China well they did this whole play out and talked about what ifs you know, these admirals and these medical doctors and stuff. Kind of like a false flag. Sit down, round, round table play out of are we prepared kind of thing. Preparedness talks. And where they talk about the what if structures of how, how would they deal with certain aspects of such a massive um, wave of change on so many platforms monetarily and transportation wise and such well anyways uh yes I'm just recording um so this corona is is what I think it is is this back to the 5G technology. It's a flu, the regular flu, and it's especially affected by the effect of 5G towers and 5G technology because all the f all the first places that had it really bad, like that cruise ship had just installed for the first it was the virgin cruise of that ship with the new 5G technology had just put it, installed. And Italy had just installed widespread 5G upgrades. Which also brings me to the point that right now Brussels has stood up. This isn't just internet hearsay I'm talking about. Brussels has figured out this 5G thing. And people in charge there have outlawed 5G technology. For the whole, it's the first city where they banned it as you know, by looking into becoming, you know, wise about what's really happening and saying we're not going to let people die from this. So they actually banned it. Well, 22 states have now talking about new legislation coming out in my state also about, um, not needing anybody's like authority or permission like private landowners to put these small literally what they say on their webpage um backpack and or pizza box sized uh, 5g transformers on our local power poles and they don't need anybody's permission according to the new legislation that they passed in 22 states which mine is one of them and I'm sure that the good people that run our states are thinking they're helping us out in fact they say it's for the good of um, ironically, our health and our social <laughs> social abilities. 
drawing it and which are the two things I was affected by Corona. Well, these five G effects are um, going to really affect everyone, along with the EMP uh, radiation. The combined effects. I know the difference because. I live in a valley with no, um, no cellular or Wi-Fi or anything like that, and no wireless, and you can't get it, you'd have to drive 45 minutes to get it, <laughs> more from where I live, but, um, I'm, I'm like very healthy from there. Whenever I get some place that does have wireless or electric towers nearby, I start like getting like diabetic effects. My ankles swell up. They are now. Get all swollen up. Sorry about that. <laughs> I think this goes off after 10 minutes. Anyways, back to my fat ankles. <laughs> my ankles get all swollen up and you can hear my nose is all stuffy. My eyes get puffy. And I like losing my voice. Obviously. <laughs> As if I ever had one. Well, I used to have a really nice voice. But I have like this raspy voice lately, especially when I get out in public. Um, anyways, this is on a hilltop, so I think we're special, even though it's out in the beautiful woods, as you can see. It's still on a hilltop, and therefore. Obviously, I'm getting cell service here, and internet, and such. There's electricity, regular electricity here on this beautiful farm that my friends have. This beautiful tree, beautiful building there. There. I guess I used to live it. Um, the flowers are coming up. So, what am I not sad about 5G? Um, anyways, so they're, they're unrolling this 5G and they're making it very small and nobody can fight with it made laws that private landowners are allowed to receive like five dollar payments or something for having them installed on their property but if you basically if you have a road already existing in your property and they need to use it they've made it possible for the 5G companies to not even need permission to use your road and existing electrical uh, towers to attach these pizza box size five local 5G thingamajigs close to where you live. Um. And if it's like so many people are now saying, a, a lot of European countries are actually um, burning, the people are flipping out and standing up. They know the truth. It's out. If you Google 5G, you're going to find it. They are burning towers, people. These are metal towers. How? How they're able to burn them, I have no idea. Like a bow and arrow with flame attached to 
They're pretty spectacular when they burn. They're like these fiery electrical torches. But people are flipping out. They're angry because nobody is admitting what's really happening. They're using coronas. And coronas real, and it's obviously very affected by the 5G technology, which weakens your immune system even more and makes things like a flu even more effective at our soul draft. And I don't think that people like are somewhat mostly, for the most part, honest, dare I say, a government, <laughs> Human beings like us who have children and people they love and actually reside above ground and deal with these same electrical factors all around them. Um, I don't think they're meaningfully doing this to us. There may be some Rothschilds and uh, the banksters and the big people in charge who knowingly are trying to uh, bring Bill Gates, who have admittedly said we need to reduce populations, like the uh, famous Georgia Stones, I think it's Georgia Stones that say they want to eliminate populations, make them Assuming people don't want their houses showed on the internet, but um, let me show you this beautiful tree again. It's fully really blooming today. Try to get on the other side of it. So um, yeah. I think an outhouse saw better days. It's actually better than the one I've got <laughs> at, my, at my place, which is a teepee, but it's just for number two, so it's actually a poopy. <laughs> I know, I'm so witty. Anyways, here's this beautiful tree. There's still a lot of beauty, even with all the insanity. Back to our governments, I don't think th they are real people, and some of them are especially stupid. <laughs> I'm not going to call out any particular parties here. <laughs> parties. <laughs> As if anybody's partying. <laughs> um, but... I think that they are human beings, they have children, grandparents, and such, and they're not out to kill us, but you can only do so much if you're in government. You don't have all day to look up weirdo internet sites like I have lately. <laughs> and get on the internet late at night and research this stuff out um, and find out, you know, you gotta count on citizens to inform you and, and the public to become informed enough that, like, the good people of Brussels have obviously put it out there enough that the government figured it out and made it illegal made these 5G towers illegal. So I think that um, we just need to put this information out there and let them become aware of it. And I think his name is Fushi. Fushi? He's the, the guy that's uh, he's not the Surgeon General but the 
leader of the medical team that Trump put in for um, dealing with Corona. He said recently that uh, they expect another outbreak this fall. So, it's, you know, it's it's doing every it's acting like a regular flu. We may get a small respite here in the summer where we can all like uh, work on our gardens and stock up again. But then expect it to come back this fall, just like any flu. And I don't know what they have planned. The big powers would be that pull the puppet strings for our leaders with what their the Rothschild plan is for the, um, the using of this so-called epidemic to actually bring. You always got to look at what is behind the obvious. The Monica Lewinsky used as cover up, you know for something deeper that's actually going on that nobody's noticing because they're all like, look here, look at the crowd, and then behind the Yeah, something else. So, I think that it might be that they're using this to um, actually the satanic powers that be behind they're pulling the strings behind all things evil. Because it's not Yahweh. It's not our father trying to destroy us. He didn't have to try. We're, we're perfectly good at that. <laughs> he could dig us out of our pit sometimes. But he has to deal with free will. He gave us free will and he respects that. I mean, that's top dollar <laughs> where he's at. I don't want to mess with his uh, power structure or take away his his rights to control everything. And he saw fit to give us all free will. So I, I'm not messing with his job security or anything by passing judgment or trying to stop people's free will. But um, Satan has free will too, and he's not afraid to use it. He's obviously, it's not like he's got morals or anything. And those who have, you know, if you don't believe in Satan, well, check out the people who do. There's a lot of people who do. <laughs> and they actually worship him, and they have documented powers and such. It's like um, a lot of people I personally know of them say just had amazing powers, even in my own family background. They thought they meant well, but um, anyway, it's just a whole different topic. Um, so I think it would probably, you know, don't mean to be doing bad stuff to us, but just like with 9-11, they rolled out this uh, whole big new agency of, uh, what do they call it? My mind's gone. Of home, Homeland Security. Yes, the Homeland Security. Instead of handing each of us a gun, teaching us how to use it, they start tracking us. And then you got all these new apps you pay for. Not, not only did, did they ask us if we, if we wanted to be tracked, all of a sudden, we're paying for it, gladly. You know, there's all these companies like Track Phone, <laughs> you know. They've got, all got these obvious names <laughs> that are just hilarious when you think about it. We're actually paying to track ourselves. Um, I just read today something about 
they've got a new app where they are using our phones and such to find out if we're social distancing. <laughs> What would that look like? Like uh, airplane radar where all the planes are just staying still? <laughs> hey folks, we've got a mover here, you know. <laughs> look away everyone, why well, this person, we've got a runner. <laughs> we've got a walker, oh they're out in the yard, get them. Get them boys. But anyway, stuff like that, I mean I understand, you know, if if you had, just with the regular flu, these are basic things we should be doing anyways to protect ourselves and each other is not coughing on people, you know, I mean, heck, you know, I, I, I go shopping, not so much lately, but just like, you know, a month ago, I'd go shopping people just like outright turn toward you and, and sneeze or cough or put their like hand up like like coughing in their hand and touching a bunch of things is actually helping no they put their hand they cough on their hand and put it right back on their buggy and then the next person that picks up the buggy gets it because most of these germs can reside on things like they're saying with Corona for up to two days, four hours to two days, and it's it's been that way for a long for most surfaces, most bacteria and germs, uh, and viruses. So this is nothing new. Um, we should be doing these things. And we need to stand alone together and support each other emotionally. And be, see the, you know, it's not all Satan and evil and such. You know, if, if I believe in evil, you know, it goes and said that I also believe in good. You know, and evil's kind of cool because in a way, you can't say people are necessarily evil. They may have allowed the evil, you know, by certain like lack of of seeing the full picture or reality of what what is soon to befall evil. Evil is soon to like leave our realm entirely. This is literally the end of the reign of evil in our days when Christ shall come again as king on this earth in the millennium the thousand year reign of a righteous kingdom when we have a righteous king who is actually Yahweh is our father our heavenly father in the form of Yeshua King. They were one in the same Father and Son and Holy Spirit. And when he comes and reigns, right, uh, darkness will be put, held back for a time. You know, we could get our footings again and start to, like, we'll still have, um, free wills and there'll still be people that live through the coming Armageddon that will still be alive and will need to get an opportunity to make choices, make right choices without this continuous output of evil, negative, um, wrong thinking and um, adversarial deceit reigning in high places and powers and peoples on earth and it will be a time of great joy for many and 
of nature will be restored. All things will be restored. You know, if you're an environmentalist, you should be really happy with the with the uh, teachings of Christ, uh, you know, of the Bible, of Scripture. That you know, I mean, wasn't just us who fell when we fell, because we had we were given in the in Eden we were given uh, domination over all things, righteous. Um, righteous is not domination. Um, righteous protection job. <laughs> uh, I forget what that's called. Of all things. And our job was to, put, to take care of the earth. You know, in Revelation it says, I will destroy those who destroy the earth. It's his creation. It's Yahweh, who's not necessarily he, but we call him a he. He's Yahweh. You know, I am, I am. He's the father of all, because we're spiritually, we're neither male nor female.